Figure 8 wrapping with elastic bandages are primarily used for vascular support of lower extremity burns. However, these bandages can be used on the arms for edema management or graft protection. Figure 8 elastic bandage wrapping is used when tubigrip is not appropriate, such as dressings that are too bulky for tubigrip to be used over. Patients should always have a form of vascular support for any ambulation, including going to the bathroom. Elastic bandages should be removed at night as they may cause skin breakdown from prolonged pressure. The patient should use bedpans and or urinals at night if there is no vascular support in place. To apply an elastic bandage to the lower extremity, Using a 4-inch elastic wrap, start at the ankle and wrap the bandage once around the ankle to secure. Moving in a diagonal direction, wrap the bandage down over the top of the foot and around. Come back over the top of the foot and wrap the elastic bandage in a diagonal direction back up toward the ankle. You should be crossing over the top of the foot and making an X with the layers of the elastic bandage. Continue to wrap around the heel and move in a diagonal up to the top of the ankle. Do not spiral the bandages up the leg. You go angle up right here, see that? Mm -hmm. Straight across in the back, see the angle there? Straight across in the back, and then you come down in the front. Wrap the elastic bandage behind the leg and ankle, and then back down the leg, crossing over previous wraps and continuing the X pattern. Continue diagonally with this pattern, up and around, down and around, etc., until you have gone up the entire length of the leg. Use as many of the 4-inch elastic bandages as needed to wrap the lower leg. Then, transition to a 6-inch elastic bandage for the upper leg, depending on the size of the leg. Secure the bandages with tape. Tubigrip provides vascular support for edema management of a limb, in this example, a lower arm. To apply Tubigrip to the lower arm, measure the widest part of the forearm. Measuring the widest part of the limb helps to ensure that you are applying the appropriate size dressing so that it is neither too tight nor too loose. Next, measure the length of the arm from the knuckles to just below the elbow crease. This will help minimize edema to the hand. Do not stop at the wrist as tubigrip can act like a tourniquet, causing the hand to swell and making it difficult for the patient to stretch and perform functional tasks. Cut the tubigrip to the appropriate length. Make a small V cutout for the thumb hole. Gather the tuba grip in your hands and spread the material open as wide as possible for the hand to pass through. Gently pull the tuba grip up the arm, dropping the material as you go. Tubigrip is used to provide vascular support and edema management of the foot and leg. Tubigrip should not be used on legs if the underlying dressings are bulky as it will not provide adequate vascular support. If bulky dressings are present, use the figure 8 elastic bandage wrapping technique instead. To apply the tubigrip to the lower leg, measure the widest part of the leg. Usually, this is around the heel or the widest part of the calf. By measuring the widest part of the limb, you can ensure that you are applying the appropriate size tuba grip dressing so that it is neither too tight nor too loose. Measure the length of the leg from below the knee crease to the end of the toes to determine the length of the tuba grip to cut. Do not end the tuba grip at the ankle as this may act like a tourniquet and cause swelling of the foot. To end the tuba grip at the toes, cut the tuba grip here.
If the foot is especially swollen and increased vascular support is needed, extend the length of the tuba grip past the toes and double it back to the midfoot. Cut the tuba grip to this new length. Gather the tuba grip in your hands, stretch it as wide as needed to go over the foot, and apply the tuba grip, leaving extra length at the toes. If your patient or another person is able to assist you, this will help prevent bunching of the dressings under the tuba grip or causing more pain to your patient by dragging across the wounds. Then even out what's on the foot so you don't have any wrinkles. We can either put it straight back like this, and then you have double the pressure on your foot, but since your foot is much smaller here than here, you're not really getting double the pressure, you're getting almost the equal pressure that the rest of your leg is getting. To do this, start with your hands positioned at nine and three o'clock, and turn the tuba grip to 12 and 6 o'clock. Giving too much of a turn will cause more bunching of the tuba grip at the toes and increase the patient's discomfort. To apply the tuba grip to the thigh, measure the tuba grip from below the knee, allowing for two to three inches of overlap, and measure to the upper thigh. Gather the tuba grip in your hands and stretch it as wide as needed to go over the foot and up the leg. Apply the tuba grip from just below the knee to the mid thigh. We're going to get it up and overlap it two to three inches here below the knee. And then pull up and let go as you raise it up on the thigh. Again, having your patient or another person assist you will ease with this application process of the tuba grip.